Hey guys, it's Steve Cow 5 juf Well, I got a little unboxing for you today. I wanted to tell you, kind of give you guys an update on what's been going on. Uh, what I got here is this is my first straight key. Got it from DX Engineering. And uh, what I got was, I got this, uh, it's called a uh, verbal, excuse me, a straight key. And it's made by a company called Vibroflex. So this, uh, this company has been around for a long time so this is my first one I also got a uh, connection cable and I'll show you how I connect it with this so I'll just kind of, kind of open this up real quick uh, this is my first official key Let's see if I can keep the knife from coming apart and I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it looks like there it is right there looks like it's got uh, some stuff right here Boy, that thing's heavy. There it is right there. That is, that's nice. Here's the knob. Boy, this, this comes, works out really good here. Look at that right there. That's what it looks like. And this little knob here just, just screws on, it looks like. It's pretty easy. Let's see here if I don't cross thread it. All right, that's it right there. These are the connections right here, and what I ordered is uh, there's some adjustments here, so we'll go through and read the manual. But that that's what it looks like, Vibroflex, um, and the model number is a V I B H K S D as standard. So the cable I got is this little connection cable, also from Engineering. And what I'm going to do with this is, yeah, there's two cables. Uh, one of them is looks like it's for a phone jack, but the one I'm going to use is this guy right here. I'm going to use this guy, and I think all I have to do is just figure out which one of these is the right connection, and um, I'll just get it wired in. So uh, stand by, and I'll uh, be right back. We'll get that. Okay, we're back. What I'm using is a straight key, so the wires I'm going to need to connect to are going to be, it's going to be, let's see, get back to the standby. Okay, there it is right there. So what I'm going to connect to is the, the ring number one, which is called the key. Ring number two is not used. Ring number three is the GND, so those are the ones I'm going to connect to. So what I'll do now is I've got it on ring number... Ring number one, which is this guy right here. Maybe that one will stay better. And what I'm going to do here is that's going to go to the shield. So I'm going to connect one leg. This shield will go to, to go to the key. That's ring number one where the black wire is. Then I'm going to go to ring number three. That, that's going to be the white wire. So the shield and the white wire are the two wires that I'm going to connect uh, to make the make it work on the 991A. So I'll go ahead and get those. All right, there's my connection. What I did, I took a little heat shrink and I ran some wires. So I what I did, I heat shrinked over the uh, the shield, and then I've got uh, the white wire goes here. So basically, I've got a little bit more a little bit more steady connection. Probably what I'll do is I'll probably put some kind of cable tie or something. But that's what it looks like. So we'll take it over to the radio and see what it does. All right, this is kind of a close-up here. What I was going to do next, I was going to show you how I'm going to set my gap. I found this little uh, 3x5 index card. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it in here, and it's kind of it's loose right now, and I'm just going to tighten this down just a little bit. And there it is really snug right there. And I'm going to go ahead and secure this little neural nut right here. And I think that will probably give me what I need. Yeah, I think that that's probably a good starting point. So I've got everything wired up. Now what I want to do is I want to go over to the radio and I want to show you a couple of configurations uh, just to get the 991A just for a straight key, and then we'll uh, we'll start we'll do some some uh, transmitting here. All right. Uh, so in front of the radio, what I was going to the couple of settings that we have to go through are in the uh, under the menu setup. Pretty straightforward. Uh, what we'll do is we're going to go look at number 12. 
Number 12 is uh, by default is set for an electric key Bravo type. We need to change that to none. And when we change this to none or off, then it will work with a straight key. Uh, this one here is the NOR. That's for like if you're left handed, if you have a uh, a multi multi action key that will change the polarity but we won't mess with that and the other one is the CW8 I'm going to change that back to 3 that's the default there and those are I think that those are really the only settings that you really need just to get the uh, FT991A working with the straight key one thing I will tell you is uh, if you unplug this with the radio um, turned on it might get stuck in transmit, so always unplug this or plug this in. This is the connection here. Only when the radio is turned off. Otherwise, it'll, it could key up the radio and it'll, it, it could like like hold it in, in a transmitting mode where you can't even un unleash it. So those are the settings right there. Now I'm going to turn off the radio. I'm going to connect my key. And then I'll show you some settings on the FM list that'll get you going. Basically, we're going to go through what's called the back end, the monitor, uh, the pitch. Those are some of the common ones. Most of you guys probably are familiar with those. But I'll show you anyway. Um, we'll go through and kind of test this uh, test this new CW straight key. So the first thing we'll do is we're in CW mode. You always want to make sure on the 991A in your mode, uh, not not upper sideband, because upper sideband is, is for voice. You want to be in CW upper sideband, because what that does is that accounts for your pitch in the frequency, in your transmission frequency. So always pick uh, CW, whether it be CW for lower or uh, lower lower sideband or CW for upper. We're going to do CW upper and we'll just stay right there on 10 meters. So next thing we'll do is uh, we'll go to our FM list and there's a button over here called monitor. Now right now when I press the key and very first thing is I'm going to make sure the back end is off. It's called BK-N and what this does is this prevents your radio from transmitting. So right now I can key the, the, the key and it will not transmit. But let me turn on the monitor first. So let's go ahead and turn on the monitor, which will play the audio over this right here. Okay, now I'm going to turn it up to about 75. You should hear it. So that's the key right there. I'm actually keying down on the Vibroflex and you're hearing it coming through. But we're not transmitting. So you notice here we're not transmitting and that's normal. So we're going to leave the monitor on. That way we can hear what our code sounds like. And as long as I leave the back end right here turned off, I'm not going to transmit. So you could practice all day long. Now the moment I turn on the back end, make sure I'm going into a dummy load here. If I turn the back end on, whoops, sorry about that, bumped the camera. If I turn the back end on, now I'm going to be transmitting. So I'm going to turn the back end off and no transmitting. So that, that's a good thing. So the back end, the monitor, uh, the keyer, you'll leave this turned off. Uh, just ignore that right now since we're just using a straight key. We're not, we're not going to incorporate any of, the, any of those additional features. Uh, the speed doesn't matter either right now because we're just using a straight key. But if we were using like a iambic key or something, some of these settings would come into play. But right now, just for simplicity, we don't have to worry about them. Uh, so the other thing I want to show you is the pitch. The pitch is actually what your uh, uh, desired tone is what you would like to hear your tone. So for example, if you touch the pitch and you turn this up, the higher you go, you can go all the way up to, I think, 1,050. And you can also turn the pitch all the way down as low as 600. I like 775. It's pretty good for me. So that's the pitch right there. So, And what we'll do here is we've got our pitch set. I'm going to go ahead and set our transmit frequency right there. Now I'm going to hit the MCH to clear all of this up here. Now I've got the pitch set at 750, and I've got my back end turned off right now. 
and I've got my monitor turned on so I can hear the, uh, the tone coming over. And let's just practice sending some code real quick here. Dialed in my frequency. I'm going to lock the VFO. I'm going into a dummy load, so let's just let me practice real quick here. I will tell you this. <laughs> I am going to need a little pad underneath this because this 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 uh, key is really really high. So I'm going to get a little notebook under it and try it. Let's try that again. Oops. There's the da. KI5JUF. Whoops, K. Oops, can't get it going here. There it is, K. I, J, no, five. J U F That's it right there. Pretty tough. I'll try it again. Ah, I can't get it going. Hold on. K I five J U F. All right, cool. Well, that's that's my CW call over there, real quick. So, uh, other than that, everything else is going pretty good. One thing I wanted to show you real quick, and uh, let me just show you what I did here on this key right here. See how I had to put that little pad right there? That actually gives me a little bit more. Otherwise, uh, it basically sits way down here, and that's almost too much. So you really almost need to have that hand flat where you can just bang on that thing. So that's what it looks like right there, doing the deal. One thing I'll show you real quick, I found an app. Uh, you know, transmitting is, is, is equally as important as listening and writing it down. And I wanted to show you this app I have on my phone. Uh, it's called Morse Key, and it's right there. And what this app does, when you press on it, it, your phone basically becomes like a... Uh, and what you can do is what I've been doing today on the way back from Salt Lake is I've been practicing with my headphones uh, in the airplane. So now, originally my plan was I have an MFJ uh, dummy load thing that you can bang out code on, but now this right here I can sit here and I can just practice banging code out all day. So anyway, transmitting is just as important as receiving and listening. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to share with you this Vibro, VibroFlex. And uh, this is my first uh, straight key, so I'm really excited about it. And I'm looking to get on the air. All right, guys, 73. Hope to, hope to make contact with you on CW. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video.